Hello everyone, welcome to the BigQuery Omni CrossCloud Database Joins demo. Today we're going to show you how you can join your data between AWS and GCP or Azure and GCP or even all three clouds together. So I'll go through the AWS store procedure. There's also an Azure store procedure, which is exactly the same, it just uses Azure as its main data source. And then both store procedures the last uh, query, it's actually the same query because we'll be joining across all three clouds. So let's jump in. Let's head over to the AWS dataset. And then there's a store procedure in here called cross cloud. And we will edit this. Okay, so the first use case here is what we want to do is get some data from AWS. So we have a thousand rows we're going to bring back. And then um, you'll see we're bringing back the pickup and drop off locations, but we don't have that. Uh, actual location names in AWS. So we're going to bring the data back and we're going to join it to the uh, data set over in Google Cloud and we will go ahead and get the actual location name. So this is going to execute this first part of this with statement over in AWS. It will then bring the data back to Google Cloud and we'll perform our joins. So this is all done without any setup. It will bring the results back for you and it will do that join and we'll take a look at the results in a second, and we'll actually see the execution plan of how this worked. So we see our results where we have vendor IDs, the borough, which is uh, data from the Google Cloud. We have the pickup load time. Um, this is from AWS. So we have combined our AWS and Google data. So inside the execution graph, let's take a look at what happened behind the scenes. So inside the AWS data set here, you see we have 1000 records, which matches our limit statement right here, and they are brought over. And then we have our data sources in Google Cloud, and we join it together, and we get our output. So it's a very uh, simple example, and we'll jump into a little more complex example, and then we'll go ahead and run all three clouds. So in this example, I'm gonna kick off the query. We're going to do a sum. So typically you don't want to bring back all the raw data, which takes time. So we're going to query uh, 84 million rows and we're going to bring back just the aggregates based upon this group by. So we're going to push down our predicates over to AWS, execute that query, and then we're going to bring back uh, the results and join it to a rate code and payment type. So you can see we have our uh, descriptions, our payment types, and we have our sums. So we'll jump into execution graph again and take a look at how this worked. So let's find the uh, AWS source here. So here's AWS. We have our 84 million rows, which we don't want to bring back all of those rows. We've then process it down and we bring back our rows. And uh, we have, in this case, uh, 3,500 uh, rows were brought back and then we do our joins. So when you look at the uh, execution plan, you can see the various steps. And then these are all uh, Google data sets. So you can see here it says AWS. It'll say AWS or Azure, and you can click on this and you can see more details as to the uh, files is actually querying. So as you can see, um, you can do your sums and complex analytics over in that cloud and then bring back just the results. So I'm gonna execute this one when to, and then talk through it. So this is going to do all three clouds. So let's look at each step here. The first is AWS data. So we're going to get um, the month of January and we're going to do some casting and sums and bring back our totals. Then we're going to do Azure. So the next query is hitting our Azure data set. So we will do the same January data within Azure. And then we're going to do a Google table and we're going to just grab some January data out of a uh, BigQuery table. And then we're going to union this together. So we're going to union our AWS data to our Azure data, oops, Azure, and then GCP. So now we have all of our results. And on top of that, we now wanna do a little analytics. So we're gonna use a pivot statement to pivot this data. So we can see what our results are in each three clouds. So we can see our pickup location, drop off location, and this is our data from AWS, and we have our data from Azure. These match, because um, have the same parquet files in both of those clouds. And then our Google data, we have additional data in Google. So as you can see, we, we brought back data from all three clouds and we'll take a quick look at the execution graph. So let's see here, we have our uh, taxi source and you can see our 265 records um, being brought down, but let's find the AWS and Azure data. So here's our Azure data 
we have our 7.7 .7 million records, and then we bring back 1.5 million. And then in AWS, we have again 7.7, .7, and we bring back the same 1.5 million. They're brought back, and we do our join between Azure, AWS, and our Google tables, which includes our lookup tables. And then we're going to go ahead and do our aggregation and our pivot. So we, you can see how we've joined all three clouds, pushed down our predicates, and we have the ability to uh, show that data directly in GCP. So that's how you do cross-cloud analytics. You can use this to do cross-cloud reporting. You can also bring back the data and run Google's AI ML on top of it, or you can just build consolidated views uh, based upon your use case. Uh, that's all there is, and thank you for watching.